Gallup finds that trust in media is at its second lowest point ever, with only 36% of Americans having a great deal or a fair amount of trust in media. And I think that there's probably a number of causal factors that's driving this trend here, but I've got to say, things like this certainly do not help. So CBS News casually announced that they hired Trump crony Mick Mulvaney as a contributor, tweeting, former OMB director Mick Mulvaney, who joined CBS News as a contributor, breaks down President Biden's tax plan on wealthy Americans. Oh, well, lovely. I'm sure that his commentary will be incredibly fair and balanced when it comes to this topic. I mean, why would a supposedly reputable news organization hire somebody like Mick Mulvaney? Need I remind you that this is someone who called COVID-19 the hoax of the day? I mean, is this someone whose commentary we can trust CBS? Really? You're going to hire this person? He also urged the public to not watch the news altogether, saying that the coronavirus news stories were being weaponized to bring down Donald Trump. Yeah, this is a thing that he actually said. He has a history of making hateful comments about the LGBTQ community. He also admitted that Trump's phone call with Zelensky was a literal quid pro quo, but then he said, get over it. And if you look at his track record overall on PolitiFact, he is incredibly dishonest, lying most of the time. But yet, CBS News thought, that's the person who we think we should hire. Definitely, he's qualified, he's reputable. I think that our viewers can trust Mick Mulvaney. I mean, who made this decision? Who thought this was a good idea? It's laughable. You might as well hire Alex Jones at this point. Now, you might think, okay, well, maybe CBS News is legitimate and this is one mistake that they've made. But no, this is actually part of a broader trend where they're trying to turn into Fox News. And I don't know how else to describe it other than the Fox Newsification of CBS because they're very clearly heading in a more far-right direction. And this was all broken down in a really fantastic and lengthy thread by Matt Negrin on Twitter who explains, CBS News almost exclusively books Republican guests. CBS News instructed its journalists on January 6th not to say it was a coup or insurrection, but instead to mention all the peaceful protests. Also, CBS News show Face the Nation platformed Republicans who lied repeatedly about the 2020 election. CBS News' political director was a Republican press secretary for six Republican senators and never had a job in journalism. CBS News aired a false right-wing smear that illegal immigrants are spreading COVID. CBS News endorsed Republicans' false description of their voter suppression, deliberately calling it an effort to tighten state voting laws. And also, one thing that stood out to me as a leftist was during the 2020 presidential primary campaign, CBS News reporter Ed O'Keefe sat down for an interview with then-President candidate Bernie Sanders, and everyone remembers Bernie Sanders' platform. He was running unap unapologetically in favor of Medicare for All. Now, Bernie Sanders was explaining, look, there's some disagreements between myself and the Democrats here, right? But the Republicans are far worse because they straight up just want to take health care away from Americans. And Ed O'Keefe, who, for whatever reason, follows me on Twitter, which I don't know why. I don't like him. I hate him. He should probably unfollow me. But he responded to Bernie Sanders pointing out the fact that Republicans want to take health care away from Americans by saying, well, isn't that what you want to do? No, you think, wait a second, that's bizarre. Bernie Sanders is running on the platform of making health care free at the point of service. So he wants everyone to have universal access to health care. That's free for everyone. And yet you're saying he wants to take away health care? Well, the point that Ed O'Keefe was trying to make was that, well, because you want to give everyone free health care, you're taking away their health insurance. Therefore, you getting rid of private insurance is basically the same as Republicans taking away health care, getting rid of the Affordable Care Act, what's left of it. Wait, what? What logical person reaches that conclusion? The answer is no reasonable person comes to that conclusion unless... They're paid to do propaganda at the behest of the Republican establishment. And that's what CBS is doing. So this is nothing new. Them hiring Mick Mulvaney is a microcosm of a broader issue. And if you're asking why would CBS do this, well, it's because this is a business, not a news organization. And Fox News is a ratings powerhouse. And more ratings means more revenue from advertisers. So CBS shifting to the right is simply a business decision, nothing more. Their goal is not to deliver the news in an impartial and objective way. Their goal is to increase shareholder value. Again, this is a business. This is a problem with late stage capitalist society where everything is commodified and you can't even get the straight news without some ulterior motive. They want to make money. And the way you do that is to pretend to be Fox News. You be Fox News light. 
And that's what they're doing. And it's gross. But the problem with this is that, you know, they are more insidious. Everyone knows that Fox News is a conservative machine, right? It's part of the Republican Party establishment. But when your, you know, loved ones, your your grandparents, for example, they want to seek out what they believe is less bad news, they might turn on CBS and not even realize that they're getting right-wing talking points. So people are getting radicalized by watching CBS and they might not even know it. They might think that CBS isn't feeding them right-wing propaganda, but that is actually the case, more and more so, because they don't put that front and center, right? The things that they do, the way that they're more, they more covertly deliver right-wing propaganda to viewers, it's not out in the open, whereas Fox News, they kind of just lay it all out there so you know where they're standing. But CBS News is less honest about that. But I think that them hiring Mick Mulvaney is them kind of saying, hey, this is who we are now. We're just a far right news organization. We've kind of given up on trying to be a straight news outlet. We're just more propaganda for the right because we want money. It's truly morally reprehensible, but this is where we're at. And people need to know about this and know that CBS News cannot be trusted because they're just right wing propaganda at this point, pure and simple. You might think that that's me being uh, not as charitable as I should be, but that's not an oversimplification. This is a business and this business wants to make money. And the way you make money is pandered to reactionaries. And that's exactly what they're doing. And their behavior over the years is indicative of this trend that we're seeing now. And this is just kind of the logical conclusion to their shift to the right. Hiring Mick Mulvaney, somebody who is a liar.